Hey y'all, it's Kat. Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the kitchen and we are making Christmas time party appetizers. And you don't want to miss it. A pinky promise. Welcome to my southern farming kitchen. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I hope your Christmas is going good. Ours is, tis the season for all things wonderful. Uh, to make these little pinwheels, you're gonna need one block of softened cream cheese, which is what I've got here. A red bell pepper, <laughs> just kidding. A red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. A pack of ranch, you don't actually need the whole pack unless you're making a double batch. And for some of them, you're gonna need some of this chopped ham. This really is the best for this recipe because it lays flat. So what you want to do is take your cream cheese and you're going to put about half of the ranch in there. You don't want it too salty or too strong. I think that's good. I originally got this recipe from Reed Drummond, the Pioneer Woman, years ago. But of course I've kicked it up and made it my own. That's, that's what you do. That's how recipes are born. So... I'm going to mix that ranch dressing in with that cream cheese. And then you're going to cut your bell peppers very, very, very small. So let me get this incorporated and then I'll cut those peppers. And I'll just show you how to put the pinwheels together. It's easy. It's Christmassy. It's perfect for the holiday. So when you get ready to cut your bell peppers, get a small parry knife, one that you can control really good, because you're going to want really fine dices. You'll see when I'm done. But make sure you've got a small knife that's sharp, this is sharpish, that you can cut these strips with. how small they are aren't they gorgeous now I may not use all of these for the pinwheels I'm making tonight but I'll I'll save that and use it for supper tomorrow night or something like that and this can easily be doubled or even tripled for like big holiday parties but this is just for us but I wanted to show you how I make these I think it's that ranch and that ham that just sets it apart from just cream cheese and peppers so you're gonna take cream cheese and like I said this is just for us. We're going to spread it out. Get it as close to the edge as you possibly can. Alright, now do the peppers first. Just as little or as, you know, as much as you want. And it just makes it so pretty when you cut them. They're very Christmassy. I used to make these for um, a church that we went to. And they just, they gobbled them up. They did not last long. I had to triple the recipe when I took them to uh, Christmas functions. So, now, you can roll it just like it is right there. But I like to add ham to a couple of them. I got bell pepper stuck to me. So just, just like that. All right, now you're going to come in. Let me slide these guys over. And you're gonna start rolling at this end very tight and keep it tight and just gather as you go. And that cream cheese acts like a glue, but watch that ham cause it wants to slide on top of those peppers. So just kinda, just be easy with it. I mean, you ain't got to be here till the new year, but but be easy with it. And then I'm actually going to stick these on a plate and put them in the fridge. I'm going to cover them and put them in the fridge. And I want them to get good and cold. I want that cheese to set up. And then I'll slice them. So just like that. You might have a couple of you know, escapees here. 
couple of prison breakers, just toss them in there. But that's pretty much what you got. And these pieces here, at the very end, they never seem to go together. That's all right. That part's for the cook. That's all right. Go ahead and take them out. Make sure you use a serrated knife, just, you know, one that's easy to maneuver. And make little small cuts. And then that's what you're going to end up with. These pieces right here, like I said, they're for the cook. But I'm going to get them cut and get them put out on my platter. My pretty Christmas platter. And that's it. Easy peasy. Alright y'all, so that's going to do it for another video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care y'all. And Merry Christmas.